Here we have our point three, order of operations with integers and exponents. So I do have a grouping mechanism here, the fraction. So then within the numerator and within the denominator, I'm gonna go through the order of operations. Now in the numerator, there's no grouping because although I have parentheses, there's nothing to do inside the parentheses. So for my first step, I'm gonna keep everything in the numerator the same. In the denominator, I do have a grouping mechanism, which is this parentheses. So negative three minus two in my calculator, negative three minus two is going to be negative five. Then the next step after dealing with the groups is the evaluating. So I do have to evaluate this expo exponent here and this exponent there. But when I do that, I'm gonna have negative 12 minus to minus. So this minus has already been spoken for. Only the parentheses negative 4 cubed is what I'm going to type in the calculator. And how did I do that? This is only a square. If I want any other power besides the square, I have to hit this little arrow and it makes a little exponent and then I can type in whatever exponent I want. You could do the same thing for squares. It's just faster to type the square button if you have a square. But if it's cube or four or any other exponent, you have to do it using the little arrow button. Okay, so I get negative 64. Then at the bottom, parentheses, negative five squared is positive 25. Now I do have a double sign here, so I'm going to take care of that. It's going to be plus 64. And so in the very front, this cannot be a minus because then that means there would need to be something in front of it. So I have to use the negative for the 12. So negative 12 minus two plus 64. I end up with 50 in the numerator and 25 is still by itself in the denominator. And then finally, I reduce this in the calculator just by typing it in. It'll reduce it for me and the answer is two. Now the next problem is still order of operations. So I would do what's inside the group, but in the group, there's two things to do. There's a subtraction and an evaluation of an exponent. I have to do the evaluation of the exponent first before I'm allowed to do the subtraction. Once I've done three squared, now notice I brought down the two and I brought down the minus and I only did three squared. Then I have to this I get negative 7 squared and again you can type each of these steps in your calculator or you can do them in your head that is completely up to you then I've got to square the negative 7 which gives me 49 if you need to type that in the calculator go ahead then you need to do your multiplying and dividing which is this expression here so 49 and the minus comes down 3 times 5 is 15 and then finally subtract that and we get 34.